Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we did fall a little bit today. We're down 0 at 1.2% and we we're just hovering at the just underneath the 150 moving average at the 119. If you look at technical indicators, they are all pointing to lower levels or momentum is basically to the downside at this point. So if we break below the 150, way below this, and tomorrow we'll most likely head towards the 200 moving average down here at the 111. So most um, indices, stocks basically pull back today. We're basically having a quite a big pullback in, in the stock market today. And that, of course, that will basically affect these ETFs. And um, we basically ran into major resistance here at the 50 moving average. And basically ever since it has been looking like we were going to retest these previous lows again. So the 200 moving average offered significant support back here. This is only three weeks ago. So it will most likely offer significant support again. So we're just going to retest the 200 moving average. If the 200 moving average breaks, then yes, that could basically mean that we could drop additional 16.6% uh, uh, all the way down towards the 300 moving average. But we are far away from that occurring. Rallies from here will most likely find major resistance at the 50 moving average up here at 129. So let's look at the DVI. So as you say, as I said yesterday, we were expecting a pullback here in this ETF, and we basically got that today. So we're approaching um, the middle of the Bullinger band, which has been significant support in the past. We can see it right here and here and also here. We have basically been bouncing off the middle of the Bullinger band for the last uh, give or take two and a half weeks. Um, if we break below uh, those levels, then we have this upper trend line here, and we also have the 40 exponential moving average right underneath. So the 20 and the 40 have offered significant uh, support in the past as well. So a pullback was expected as we were getting really overstretched here in the top of the bullish band. And if you look at the historical patterns, every time we got the top of the bullish band, we have broken towards the middle or even towards the bottom of the bullish band. We can see it right here. But most common is that you pull back towards the middle of the bullish band before rallying towards the upside. It is still within this channel, and uh, as long as that is the case, uh, buying on the dips, that is basically uh, the best way to go. So let's look at VTI. So also here, we got fairly overstretched also at the top of the bullish band, and now we're pulling back towards uh, the middle. So whether or not we are going to stop there or not that is to be seen but uh, um, we are seeing a pullback as we were significantly overbought and significantly overstretched and if you, if you look at other technical indicators we can see the macd is crossing the signal line most likely tomorrow uh, the rsi is bearish the cci is bearish and the stochastic is bearish so momentum is to the downside but the 20 and the 40 and the 50 have all offered significant support in the past and it looks like we're just doing more of the same, uh, basically hitting the top of the bullish band and then just breaking down towards the 20, 40 or the 50 before rallying back towards the upside. So this is uh, just continuation of, um, of this um, channel that we have been in. And um, yes, it's basically buying on the dips. That is, um, that is probably the best way to go. So we'll most likely find a major support down here at the 210. If that were to break, then there's a quite a nasty fall all the way down towards the bottom of the bullish band. That's all the way down to the 100 moving average at 201. So let's look at MHCI. So also here, we are continuing to uh, break down towards the 200 moving average. And uh, this ETF was, was probably... Uh, well, broke down before all the others. So, of course, it has been breaking down for quite a long time, but it has shown much more negativity uh, or bearishness than the other ETFs have. And uh, at this current stage, we are most likely going to retest the 200 moving average down here at 80. 
If you look at technical indicators, they are basically all turning around. The RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, and the MACD is in negative territory, but above the signal line still. We have broken the, the middle of the bullish band, and we could basically break all the way down towards the bottom here at the 200 moving average, or the very bottom, which is at 79. Rallies from here will most likely find major resistant at uh, 48 and the 100 moving average at 85. So let's look at IVB. So also here we ran into a major resistance at the top of the channel and now we're heading back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. So we can see that this is a, most likely going to see a drop of 1.78% or towards the 20 exponential moving average that is a drop of 1.4% before um, rallying back towards the upside. So we're still in this channel. So it is just pullbacks are, are, or buying the dips has been uh, the way to go. And we're just seeing another dip right now as we were getting very overstretched, significantly overbought still. And uh, this could be an even bigger fall if the 20 exponential moving average, the 20 exponential moving average breaks. So we could drop towards the 20 down here at 408. If that breaks, then we could all the way down to the 40 down at 401. And then we have the 50 all the way down here at 397. So that's a drop of 4.11%. And that is basically where we fell to the last time we basically had a, a pullback. If you look at technical indicators, MACD is still in, in positive territory, but it's turning around and will most likely cross the signal line within one or day or two. Um, RSI is uh, negative, the CCI is becoming negative, and the stochastic is negative at this current stage. So we may see uh, a few uh, more trading days where this basically pulls back, but that was expected as this was significantly overstretched and significantly overbought. And, and those conditions can't last forever. So hope you find it helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.